Okay, hey y'all, it's Jayla. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, blah, 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 blah. I have a attitude. <laughs> a big attitude. As you guys can see, I have braids. Um, they're very pretty braids. Um, I like them a whole lot. But it was just a very interesting experience getting these braids. So first of all, you guys know that I live in Japan with my husband. And um, there's not resources are very limited out here so I found a lady on Facebook that does braids she's an African lady um, she lives about an hour and 30 minutes away so we travel the hour and 30 minutes um, to go to her to get my hair done to get my hair braided and um, when we first got there um, I sat down she said hello you know whatever and um, she pulled out this this blow dryer and I was like Excuse me, miss. What is you going to do with it? Blow dry your damn man, please, huh? Excuse me, miss. I was just like, what are you doing? Like, my hair is dry, fam. I'm like, what's going on, you know? I was like, uh. And she was like, you don't want me to use it. And I was like, um, no, because I'm natural and I don't want you to damage my hair with your blow dryer. Um, she said, well, I have to use it because the hair needs to be soft and the hair needs to be straight. And I said, okay, well, just a little bit. So, um, I think I was a little bit nervous because um, I've never straightened my hair before. And I know some girls that are natural, they can straighten their hair a million times. You know, color it, straighten it, basically send their hair to hell and back. And their curls still will be like, oh, I'm fine. Oh, okay, I'm still pretty. But you got some other girls that straighten their hair or color their hair and their curls are like their hair can't handle it and me i'm only six months natural and i don't i'm still learning my hair i'm still learning what works i don't even have a hair washing schedule yet so i don't know if my hair is going to take to heat or if it's just gonna you know fall apart and my hair is going to be frizzy a frizzy mess when i take these braids out so anywho um, she does, she starts, she starts to blow dry and she does it for two seconds. I'm like, she goes like one, two, and that's it. But, and I was like, okay, cool. But as she got to the back, she started getting a little bit more, uh, thorough. So I'm like, you know, like every time she was doing that, I'm like trying to inch away. And, um, I was like, oh, that's too much. Like you're using it too much. And she was like, what well, sister, what do you want me to do? And I was like, wait a minute, ho. Um, mm, excuse me, I didn't even call her a hoe. I'm like, wait a minute, boo. Um, this is my hair, and um, I said that you could use it a little bit, but you're using it too much. You know, I touch my hair, and it's straight. I'm literally sitting in this chair having, like, an anxiety attack, and um, she's just blow-drying away, you know? So then, once I say, you know, you're using too much, she goes, well, do you want me to use this spray? Will that make you feel better? And, like... She has heat protecting spray. Didn't even show me the bottle that she was like. I don't even know what she sprayed. But she said it was heat protectant. But if you had that and I said I was natural. Why wouldn't you use that from the jump? Of course it doesn't fully protect your hair. But it will make me. It will give me some comfort to know that you're using a heat protecting spray. Um, so that was. Ha my hair was halfway done when she started using the spray. But then as we're moving on. Um, she has a bowl beside her. And I'm like well, what's in the bowl? You know. It's just water. Okay, well, why are you getting an attitude? I just asked if it's just water. Why are you getting so mad? You know, like, just, I want to know what you using on my hair. But as she got up towards my edges, y'all know me and my baby hairs. I'm like, leave my baby hair out. So she's like, putting, pushing them down, pushing them down. She left them out. Um, but as we got to my edges, I started to hold the braid to ease the tension. And she's going to talk about some excuse me. Excuse me. No, excuse you because I need my edges. She was very rude and it was very aggravating because you're not about to damage my hair for your braids that are going to last a month. Like, lady, are you crazy? Um, and I'm a really, I'm a really non-confrontational person. Like, I will do anything in my power to avoid confrontation, but I did not know that I was this protective over my hair. Like, I would never do something like that. Like, check someone I guess you can say because like I will sit and be dissatisfied with a service and then call them up when I'm done and you know or just let damage get done while it's getting done and then just be mad about it later um but she was rude and not only that but I had to travel an hour and 30 minutes to get to her house then 
um, once I got there, she fussed at her son 17 times. And then after she fussed at her son, she came back in the room smacking on some, I don't know what the hell she was eating, but it sounded wet. Talked on the phone for 30 minutes. And then took 200 of my dollars. Like, I'm paying you to do my hair. Like, if I'm... If I'm here, I want you to do my hair. I don't want you to be in and out of the room. She's in and out of the room the whole time. And because I'm in Japan, it's just so limited for people that can do hair and people that can braid hair. So I understand you have to send me out of the door looking a certain kind of way because, you know, I'm basically wearing your name on my head. But at the same time, you did my braids gorgeous, but I'm telling everybody you're rude as hell. I'm just so... I'm baffled at how rude... I just don't see myself getting any more protective styles if I don't do them myself. Mind you, this past weekend I tried to do some braids. Some twists. I tried some twists. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, fail. Um, I kept them in for three days because, um, they were, they were, they were struggle braids. Uh, struggle twists. Um, they look like I did them in dark. They look like uh, I had two left hands or something. The only other protective style I could see myself getting is a wig. But um, I tried to order from Wild African and um, I placed my order. They asked for a phone number, I think it was, a phone number for the shipping. Um, I gave them the phone number after that. They said, they said, your hair is ready now. What's your phone number so we can ship it? Gave them the phone number. 30 days later, I'm like, wait a minute, I ordered some hair. Where's my where's my wig? So I emailed them. I'm like, I ordered this on the such and such and such and such and it's still not here. And she goes, oh, sorry, sweetie, with the Y. There was some holdup in the factory. Um, we'll send you a picture when your hair's ready. And I was like, a picture? What is you sending me a picture for? confused like why are you sending me a picture it needs to look like Holly Berry on the website what are you sending me a picture for I was just so confused I was like wait a minute this ain't right so um after a month I was like they they're like we'll send you the hair and everything and I was like no just give me my money back because I've Heard of some reviews for Wild African. I feel like they're a hit or miss company. Either you get really good service or you get really bad service. And um, I don't know what's going on with their communication. But um, definitely missed out on this one because I said just give me my refund before I get the hair. And it's bad quality. And then I have to fight with y'all about shipping stuff back from Japan to China. So um, I said just give me my refund. I really wish I would have got to you know see the hair, feel the hair. I just didn't want to fuss with them with the uh, shipping cost if it wasn't good quality hair. Um, but yeah, y'all, no more protective styles for me. And if I take my hair out and my hair is damaged, I'm getting all 200 of my coins back, all of them, because I'm not. I told I told you not to use the blow dryer on my hair. You damaged my hair, and I should sue you for pain and suffering because y'all know how emotional I am with my hair. Have y'all, what, what, what would y'all, what have you, what would have you, bruh, you know, I've been getting my hair done by the same lady for 15 years, and this is my first time being away from home, so I'm not sure really what to expect when I get my hair done, um, so maybe you guys can tell me what, what you would have done in that situation, you got this lady using this hot ass blow dryer on your pretty curls, and you be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, bitch. Tell me what y'all would have done. And has anybody ever ordered anything from Wild African? I really do feel like they're a hit or miss. Um, I might try again, but hubby is like, no, nah, we ain't doing that no more. He's like, no, nah, bro. So, um, yeah. End rant. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'm just bothered. And these braids, they itchy, they hurt. I had to take a NyQuil and ibuprofen last night because they hurt so bad. But yeah, guys, I'll see y'all later.